number five, we're supposed to tell whether the equation represents direct variation, and if so, identify the constant of variation. In order to determine whether an equation represents direct variation, we should always solve for y first, get y by itself. So in this case, we'll have to peel away the 2x from both sides. It cancels off of this side. So now we end up with y equals 3 minus 2x. Or sometimes we like to write the variables first. We have negative 2x's, and just a 3 by itself is like a positive 3. Now if we look at this equation, to be direct variation, it has, has to be y equals some number, the slope times x. There can't be any extra stuff. In this case, we see that we've got an extra plus 3, so we would say no, this does not represent direct variation, and since it doesn't, there is no constant of variation. We still wouldn't, we wouldn't say that the constant of variation is negative 2. If there is no direct variation, there is no variation constant.